Hello, Uthgird. How are you? With your beautiful dragon mask, <laughs> dragon priest mask, and your big bow of Daedric arrows. Um, hello, everyone. I am back, the humble gamer, playing Skyrim some more. Uh, last time we came to Solstheim, uh, we started up a mission on, uh, well, we killed a mage guy on this ship. And, uh, and now we're going to go and uh, take the map that we collected back to the Skull, uh, which are the sort of natives on this island. Uh, where are we here? Oh, there we go. It's right there. Woo! Off we go. Back to back to to the skull. Um, okay, I'm just taking note of what time it is here. Uh, 25 minutes, so relatively about 40 minutes in. Start taking note. About 45 minutes, I'll stop at. Probably less than that. Um, <laughs> see, I like I like to try and measure my time up because you don't want to have videos that are too long, but you don't want to have videos that are too short either. Um, the time I'd been recording for was about 23 minutes that last video, but um, but about five minutes of that is probably uh, cuttable. So um, it's probably less than that actually. But it is there good you go. To see you again, my Hello. Did you find the elves at their ship? I did. Yes, and I, I brought you, you the map. Great danger to bring this map to me. There are no words to tell well, it wasn't me. that great a danger. I didn't exactly Thank hurt you, that bad, friend. did I? There are no I name you friend okay. of the skull, and I will trust you with the knowledge of forging Stalwin. If you bring Stalwin here to my forge, you can use my tools to make what you will from it. I haven't season, read up on Stalrim. May your hunts always bring you game, and your crops grow tall and bountiful. Th well, thank you. Thank you, Baldor. I heard from Dior how you went in search of Baldor. That was very brave. And in fact, huh. that's just the kind of courage I'm looking for. Oh, great. Are you going to send me... Let me guess. You need me to do something dangerous. That is the sum of my emotions right now. <laughs> that is... Thank you, Skyrim. <laughs> thank Quite you for right. giving me a Quite laugh right. today. This, however, is paying work. Allow me to explain. Well, I didn't actually get As paid there, so he's history, right. I've always found Solstheim to be most intriguing. I have made many forays into the ancient ruins that cover the island. Oh, I have you now? I know those ruins so well, I could draw you a map from memory. We'll do it then. I noticed the new passage the moment I laid eyes on it. A new passage to what? An old tomb, I think. It must have been opened by an earthquake that accompanied one of the Red Mountain's eruptions. I'd I wonder how many eruptions so the Red Mountain's had since it first erupted. And I'm no adventurer. I'll pay you to watch my back down there. I'll be heading back there. If I remember the lore of Skyrim right, apparently it was like a giant rock that uh, someone uh, used magic to hover in the middle of the air that was the size of a meteor. And uh, at some point his magic faded and the meteor fell to earth and um, uh, uh, the, the power of it falling to earth actually started Red Mountain's eruption. So, um, but that's what I read anyway. Okay, let me read what I'm doing here. Lost Legacy. Travel to Valok's Tomb. Um, okay. Where is Valok's Tomb? Uh, Valok's Tomb is... Where? It's over there. Wonderful. Okay. Let's go to the Beast Stone and work our way down the mountain to it. Um, I find it's much easier sometimes to TP to places and then walk from there. Um, although to be honest, all the places I've unlocked in Skyrim have been unlocked, like, over a long period of time. This is actually my oldest file on Skyrim. Uh, I started this file back in 2012, and I have been on and off with it for years. I really don't know why I've been on and off with it. I probably should have just gone all the way through the game before getting off of it, but I sort of kept like falling out with it and then coming back to it every now and then so I don't know I, I, I really like Skyrim I really really like it but like sometimes you get a bit bored of the same sort of wandering through caves and stuff because it all gets a bit repetitive after a while but you come back to it and it's just sort of like yeah man gotta gotta play this wait is this a dragon skeleton this is a dragon skeleton 
Whoa! What's the story behind this? What's the story behind this dragon? Was it here when the mountain erupted? Holy shit, I need to look that up later. I've never seen that before. Just a random skeleton of a dragon laying out in the middle of nowhere. That's cool. Oh, okay, it's down here. Cool. All right. Another tomb. Volox tomb. <gasps> oh, Jesus. I dropped a bunch of stuff on the floor. Ah. Okay. Completed. Travel to Valok's tomb. Talk to Tharstan. Hello, friend. Remarkable, isn't it? This tomb huh. has been hidden for well, who knows how long. Many centuries. I've had a look around, and the only interesting thing I've found is this inscription here and a switch below it. Okay. Now I'm not sure if you can read the dragon language. This seems to be a riddle of some sort. A sacrifice will bring you closer to that which you seek. I wonder what it means. I think I know exactly what it means. I think it means you are going to die today. Mind your step. There seem to be some corpses strewn about on the floor here. Oh boy. I know exactly what I'm going to have to do here. Uh, I think you should stand on this. Because I know exactly what's going to happen here, and you are not going to live through it. I'm very sorry to say. Um, okay, there's another tablet in there, but I'm actually going to assume that, yeah, I do have to... I think you should stand on it. Hmm. I think you should stand on it. Let me just put this guy here. Uh, let me see what this will do. That did fuck all. Why don't I lead the way? I don't know what to do. You tell me what I need to do because I'm confused here. Um, there doesn't appear to be anything out of the ordinary around here. Um, there's a big river down there. That doesn't seem too interesting. There's some steps up here which lead to... Uh, nothing particularly interesting looking um let me see here this is an interesting one here i've never i've never come across a cave that's uh, quite as puzzling as this haha <laughs> puzzle okay R well then well can you read it for me continue along the path don't tread where you've been. Interesting. Don't tread where you've... Well, that was a riddle easy enough to figure out. And what do we get? A word wall. Okay, what, what word are you giving me today, game? Loyal Battle Fury. Ho! Oh, hello, friends. Um, nice to meet you. Um, there we go. Your health is mine. And there's a drug all death lord here. Um, you know what? Let me use my... Oh, that's a whole new shout. Okay. Your Thum enchants nearby allies' weapons, allowing them to attack faster. That's not very useful. I'm already using Ben Will, so... Oh, you're not going to listen to me. Okay. You are going to die now. Bye-bye. Well, cool beans. 
Amethyst claw. Only half. Wow. Half a claw. Interesting. That's new. Not seen that in this game before. Diamond, flawless sapphire, loads of stuff. Okay. More of the dragon town. The runes have faded a bit, but I believe I can translate the inscription. This writing refers to a guardian who inspired both men and dragons. I wonder if the guardian was himself a man or a dragon. It looks like a secret entrance opened up along the wall. You lead the way. A secret entrance? Where? Where where is this secret entrance that you speak of, my man? Oh, right here. Okay. They don't make it easy, do they? Sometimes in these games. It tends to be quite uh quite rapid the succession of these caves. Whenever you go through these temple things, they always seem to be quite rapid. Ooh. Okay. We are up quite high. Um lifting me higher higher and higher okay so hey uh, good I'm glad that you think fortune has smiled upon us um, I need to go over here because this is obviously the way to go now gate was closed earlier so other half of the claw is in here I'm guessing couldn't have, couldn't couldn't have thunk it couldn't have thunk it any other way out oh. We're gonna get more drugger in here. Skeleton, look. It's a spooky skeleton. Heh heh heh. Hello, child. Uh, no, sorry, I can't do the Undertale papyrus voice. It's not gonna work. Um, okay, look. Let me get my 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 chain. No. Let me get my chain lightning out because there's gonna be drugger. Dead already and the rest of them are going to be easy as hell to kill um, oh you didn't have the claw on you that's, that's not nice okay I'm just gonna use my crossbow again I see no reason why not you guys die way too easily anyway you can't even hurt me bro look at your health you've got like one health oh are you okay there Darston had a bit of an issue there. Um, Alright. Up we go. Chain. Oh god, is it a black book? No, it's not. It's another thing. All men must die. Often by their own means. Sounds rather grim if you ask me. The inscription must be a reference to these pillars. Hey. They also have glowing stones of some kind at the top. They look vaguely similar to drawings I've seen of objects called impact stones. Well, see what you can figure out. I'm going to inspect these pillars further to see if impact I stones. I figured this out already. Uh, first of all, let's just I don't think these need to actually be on the pillars, but I'm going to put them on there anyway because I I want them to be on the pillars when I do what I'm about to do. Um, okay, there we go. Oh, f fuck you guys. Okay. We have to hit each of these with their respective thing. So, um, it, they, that's why they've actually supplied uh, these things here. See, in case you don't have a bow and arrow, they've supplied it. In case you don't have um, a sword, they've supplied one. In case you don't have a staff, they've supplied one. But you've got to hit one side with a staff, one with a sword, and one with um, an arrow, I, I expect. So, let's do the arrow one first. Um, ebony bow. Uh, let's just hit this with the arrow. There we go. That's one side. Um, this side was the staff, so let's let's take the staff of flames and let's... Uh, where are we here? 
Okay. And this side needs to be hit with a sword. Which we have a sword right here. Um. Yep. Done. Um, okay. Oh, oh, for fuck's sake. Um. Here we go. Get my Daedric Swords back out there. Um, and I'm gonna... No, that's not right. I need to put down the Staff of Flames. There we go. Well, that was easy enough. And another word wall. And of course, we're gonna have to fight more of these assholes. Oh, you piece of shit. Let me use all of my stamina to do one big move here and stun you like a bitch. Yeah! Yeah, bitch! You dead. Alright. There's the other half of the Amethyst Claw. Uh, oh, he's got ebony arrows. I'll take those. Oh, an ebony bow. Oh, that looks really nice. I'm going to take that just so I can take it home and put it on my wall. Uh, also, uh, another, another word. Here we go. I'm guessing it's the second word of that shout. I'm guessing all three of these words are going to be in this one temple. Um, and they're probably going to play a big part in the temple as well, to be honest. Uh, yeah, here we go. I got plenty of dragon souls from killing Marat. Yeah, yeah. If I'm reading this correctly, it says that Mirak was a traitor. Most interesting. Who the fuck are you anyway, Tharsta? And you sort of walked up to me and you were like, Yes, I found this place that I want to, to look in, but it's very dangerous and I need the help of someone, a hero, with uh, lots of... Uh, loads of experience in the the hero place um okay tharstan tharstan this is most exciting wouldn't you agree i would agree actually tharstan this is quite exciting i have not seen a temple quite like this before um now you haven't told me if there's a secret exit which there actually is so i'm just going to take this secret exit and we are going to go uh, and carry on and you know what we're actually reaching the point where I would need to cut out the video, and I'd normally do two videos, but I think what I might do is actually do three. I know, unusual. I don't usually do that. But you know what? I'm really enjoying playing Skyrim right now, and I actually want to carry on. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to carry on. So um, let me just... Oh, let me just do this, and then I'm actually going to take a break, get a drink, and uh, go toilet, and then we'll carry on. So... A sacrifice will bring you closer to which you seek. Okay. So what? What do I do? Let's be extra careful. Yes, let's be extra careful. Um. What does this read up here? Uh, this doesn't read anything. Cause it's a fucking stupid pillar thing. There we go. Well, that was easy. Stay your course. To idle is to die. Well, at least it's straightforward. Yeah, indeed. There appears to be a switch of some kind here. Don't pull it. Stand over here while you flip that switch. Oh, how nice of you. Don't you be sarcastic with me, you bitch. How dare you be sarcastic with me. Whoa, okay. Oh! That was a dangerous experience. Okay, so I'm supposed so yeah, that's what it means. You're supposed to you're supposed to just keep ahead of them. Okay, good. I know what I'm doing now. Um This has actually been a really really interesting temple actually. I'm, I'm quite quite fond of this temple um, okay do you know what I'm gonna cut the video here um, and we'll carry on in the next video so yeah Skyrim everybody uh, thank you for watching um, and I, if you like please leave a comment I don't know why I asked that still but I do uh, and I will see you in the next video so yeah um, goodbye Tharstan goodbye Uthgood uh, and I'm gonna wait to pull this lever to the next video I'm so tempted so yeah I'm gonna pause now
See you guys in the next video. Bye.